Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pioneer Peak with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. This week we're playing Croxus? Croxus. I don't know how you pronounce the name, but I'm gonna call it Croxus. Titan of fun. I know, the name is wild, isn't it? It's a promising of a good time, which it will be, because I'm excited to try the new Titans, if you will, uh, inside, in Pioneer. I mean, like, Croxa, and on, you have Uro, you have all these sweet new cards from Theros, so there's definitely a few that I wanted to see how they bleed into Pioneer and whatnot, and maybe even older formats. Of course, right off the bat, we gotta do what I love, which is something with Grixis. You can call this control, you can call it mid-range, it dances somewhere in between. Uh, but yeah, it's just the way, like, it's the Grixis deck that you've seen run around in Pioneer. Um, of course, you know, I did want to add, like, Glorybringer to this deck, but I wasn't uh, I was I wasn't sure yet. Maybe maybe we could add Glorybringer, but that's for another future updated episode. In the meantime, we are trying a bunch of a few new cards. But you know our sideboard here. Let's go over that disdainful stroke for you know uh, anything that would require that, like ramp decks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Negate for control matchups, things like that, and noxious grasp for more uh, like any kind of simic or green based deck. And then Ashiok Dream Render. Look at this Ashiok party going on. Um, and then that's to just exile graveyards. Maybe you get paired against that sort of dredge deck. Uh, Rabble Master to help us speed up a clock. Languish because, you know, turns out that card's still pretty good. It's a solid sweeper. Helps us deal with, like, Soul Flayer decks and Wada Wada. We have Unmoored Ego. Um, maybe for, like, a Ral combo, like a Lotus Field thing. Uh, Thought Erasure because that's just another solid discard spell. And then, of course, we have Vraska's Contempt. Just a solid exiling effect, which could mean that we can deal with, like, a Rekindling Phoenix or maybe a World Breaker, an Ulamog, who knows. I know, it's a singleton, and it's a long shot, but it's at least we've got something. Of course, the deck, as I would mentioned, the new cards that we've added, Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. When Kroxa enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless it escaped. Whenever Kroxa enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card. Then each opponent who didn't discard a non-land card this way loses three life. And with the escape... Black, black, red, red. Exile five other cards from your graveyard. You can play it again. Now, this is just to keep attacking the hand like we want to do in a Grixis deck. And on top of that, it feel like at a point I almost wanted to add Lazav just to get it, uh, get the cute little synergy going. And maybe Lazav could work because you could turn that into Nico Bolas and other creatures. But maybe that's for an updated episode. We'll see how this deck does now. And of course, we've got Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Grixis had a problem dealing with some enchantments along the way, so maybe Ashiok Nightmare Muse can come down, help us bounce one of those uh, enchantments when they're like hell bent and out of cards, and then make them exile it or whatever problematic permanent, non land permanent that is. And of course, the plus one create a two three black uh, blue and black nightmare creature token. With uh, whenever this creature attacks or blocks, each opponent exiles the top two cards of their library. Great for for us to go on the offensive, go on the defensive, unless of course there's a questing beast, and then the alt which allows us to cast up to three face-up cards your opponents own from exile without paying their mana cost. Obviously, that should be pretty huge and pair quite nicely with our two threes that we get. So without holding up any longer, let's see how we do in the league. We got the die roll, so take the play. Ooh, I guess this has thought seized. That's not bad. We have an Urborg to make everything a little bit easier on our mana base. I don't have to shock. Oh, it's Ascendancy. That's not great. All right, well, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, the Ascendancy. Grixis, we can't really deal with enchantments, so, you know. I'm F6 out of this situation also. Alright, so they've played the Hollow Fountain that we know about, the Witching Well that we know about, and they put one on top and one on the bottom. Alright. Uh, cast down's not really gonna do much here, so, whatever. That's cool. Um, I mean, yeah, we can't, like, if they have Sylvan Carrioted, we definitely aren't killing that. Yup, yup. Ooh, they just got Mox Amber in the yard. That's pretty good for them. Alright, let's go ahead and cast, uh... This opt here. Let's put this on the bottom. Cool. Drew a swamp. Um, let's see. We could let's deal two damage and blow up something of theirs. Uh blow up their artifact. Nope. Destroy target already deal two any target. Okay, cool. That one. And then kill Emery. So now they have nothing on board. Perfect, perfect. We do have to be careful now because they have one of those. Sylvan Karyatids, huh? Well, I guess let's get started. I mean, we're not we're not doing anything else, right? And there's no point in holding out and trying to hope that like they don't play anything. They're they're just gonna force me to have it every time, anyways. 
Okay, F6 again. Hey, it's okay. She gotta, we gotta get five turns of nothing from the opponent. That's all. Oh, look. It's already begun. Oh. GG's. Pretty much GG's here. I mean, I'm gonna attack. So they have Retraction Helix in hand, which we know about. Uh, we're gonna definitely loot away this cast down. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Well, we're gonna F6. Let's see how Jeskai Ascendancy works. The nice thing is, sometimes they fizzle. Sometimes. Very rarely, but sometimes. I believe, does this draw a card? No, it doesn't. It, yeah, sack it, draw a card. Okay. Sometimes they fizzle, right? We got, we get, this could be one of those times. Plus they, <laughs> it's unlikely. <laughs> oh yeah, now it's even more unlikely. <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> remember that time when I tried to play a mid-range deck? Yeah, I remember that time. What a good time. Oh, hexproof. All right, I didn't know this was the thing, but I guess now I got to go get that shadow spear going, huh? I should just sideboard a Shadow Sphere, actually. I think I would just sideboard one for the fun of it. I'm tired of losing to Hexproofers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yup. Yup. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is GG's, I think. Like, they have five mana. They could technically draw two more cards. Find out. Can trip. Undo everything again. Emery, that's a good one. Uh-huh. They're probably going to draw some cards here. Oh, boy. Here they go again. That's gross. Uh-huh. Well, that was close. I felt like we were in it until the very end there. We were in it until the very end there. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They still can Retraction Helix, which means they can bounce the Mox Amber back on top of that. Oh, uh, what a bummer. Okay, so now they have it, right? Because they can just keep casting the Mox Amber... Untap, cast Mox Amber. Yeah, okay, GG's. All right, let's go ahead and bring in a few things against the opponent here. Something a little faster, so something like Rabble Master. Uh, Ritual of Soot is decent. It will help me get rid of that problematic card of theirs. Fatal Push won't have too many targets. Dreadbore won't have too many targets. I mean, I guess Dreadbore is better than Fatal Push, because at least it for sure kills anything. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? We have Ashiok, 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 all the Ashioks. Uh, maybe we don't need Dread Boar. Kalidus does take over the game, which is pretty nice. Let me think here. We need to keep attacking their hand. I guess I get rid of that. That's fine. I mean, we are kind of relying on a bunch of five drops, which is like, not really real, not all that realistic, but sure. No discard, unfortunately. Yup, Witching Well, you got it, you got it. Silly combo deck. Why must you prevent me from having so much fun? All right, pass. We at least have our four mana. That's nice. Uh, let's see if... What they're about to play. I mean, really, we only want to counter the the Jeskai Ascendancy, right? Oh, boy. Let's see how this goes. If they tap down the Paradise Druid, that's, like, ideal, but doesn't seem likely. I don't think I can tap out, can I? I don't think so. Okay, so they're going to cast Opt here. I need something like Ritual of Soot to get rid of all of these uh, Hexproof Mana Dorks. Top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the other in your graveyard. Problematic. I want to find three mana Ashiok here. Three mana Ashok will at least eat most of their yard up. Oh boy. Hmm. If I tap out, I'm pretty much dead. They go Jeskai Ascendancy plus Cantrip. Yeah. So I just have to like leave up mana. I can't do anything. And if they're banking on something like me to play a blue spell with Mystical Dispute. Oh, that's good. All right. So they have the Ascendancy that we know about. Mystical Dispute. Uh, that's a problematic card. Ascendancy is a problematic card. I think I want to get rid of Dispute, right? Because Dispute will then allow me to... Traction Helix, that's a problem. That's all a problem. Oh, that's kind of a pickle, actually. I guess the Ascendancy. Pass. So at least now we know that the Ascendancy is all they had. All right, let's get rid of this card. All right. So they no longer have the white source they need. If I could just draw... Okay, now they have it. We're going to just go ahead and go Kalidus. Make them use all their mana, all that, use that Dispute. Once they use Dispute, then I can go ahead and try to go next turn, uh, play like four mana Bolas. If I draw a land, then I can hold up Negate. They no longer have the Dispute. All right, maybe I can go for the Nico Bolas play here too. Actually, should I even, I think I should go for this Bolas. This will force the opponent to actually like do something right now. 
or do something on their turn. Cool. And plus, I get to draw some cards out of this. All right, Mana Confluence out of their hand. So that means they have Triple, Retraction Helix, Sylvan Awakening. All right, they have another Mana Confluence. That's good for us. Actually, let me undo this real quick. Let's draw first. Okay, let's try to end the game here. Let's go to combat. Get in there, little Rabble Master token. So they exiled one of these Retraction Helixes. So we know the four cards in their hand. Uh, sure. It's fine. Ooh. I like this. All right, let's draw a card. Nice, and we have Thought Seize. Nice, and we got there. Cool. So we take the next, we take game two. Woo! Nice and close. Nice and close. Maybe we could keep a Fatal Push now, but like it seems unlikely they're ever to do what they did last game. They might just sit back and wait for a while. Ah. Uh, maybe we can go down one Ashiok. It is a five mana spell. All right, let's go with, let's go with that. We got a Croxa, like, last game, so that was pretty cool, but we drew it a little bit later. Now, I did originally want to throw Lazav into this deck. Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it, but I'm not that greedy. Wait, am I that greedy? Okay, hold on. No, I don't, I don't think I'm that greedy. Nah, I'm not that greedy. Come on, YouTube. You know me better than that. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you do know me better than that. Maybe I am greedy. All right, let's just go ahead and get the blue source now. Right, meow. All right, get that island. We don't have... uh. Another blue source, but I don't think we need another blue source for quite some time. That's the nice thing. All right, there's the druid that we all know and love. All right, so they have Teferi. They have Is it Charm. Does Teferi matter? Uh, Teferi does make it not an interactive game and easy for them to just deal with us. Uh, boy. I think it's got to be Is it Charm. Is it Charm's what's keeping them alive? No, it's got to be Teferi. It's got to be Teferi. I don't mind Is it Charm. Like, Teferi does some serious work. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and bait out the uh, the counterspell. Ashiok should be something. Yup. There's the Is It Charm counterspell. Cool. Hopefully they don't have... Oh, wait, what? They chose to draw two and then discard two. I was not expecting that whatsoever. What did we hit? A bunch of lands? That's unfortunate. So I gotta hope that this Ritual of Soot resolves. Oh, Emery. All right. Sure. Okay. Try for it, I guess. If it gets countered, it gets countered, but gotta try for it. All right, so they have the the mystical dispute. Nope, can't pay for it. All right. Need a board wipe again. Need that other ritual of soot pretty bad. Black, 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 red, blue. Okay, cool. Do they have another counter spell? They do not. All right, we'll just go ahead and pass to them. Let them figure out what they want to do. And then we have a Thought Erasure in hand, so we can actually kind of just, like, pull away from their some of their cards. That feels pretty good. All right, our Planeswalkers are doing work. Come on, come on, come on. Can we steal this game? Let's see what they've got in hand. Okay. I forgot that could bounce my stuff, not just... Okay, cool. Uh, into your graveyard... Let's just keep them off all their cards. Now this next upcoming turn, we can go ahead and go Thought Erasure, or I mean Thought Seize plus the Board Wipe, which is probably better. They do have a Witching Well, so they can pop that. If they draw two cards, they get a land, they untap. There's still a lot they could do here. They could potentially go off this turn. All right. They could go off this turn pretty hard. Let's see what they've got. Now let's go ahead and sweep the board. They know about Nico Bolas in hand. That's the last card. Ah, jeez, they got Treasure Cruise going. Needed that Ashiok pretty bad, but whatever. We would have gotten one more activation if I had killed the Emery, but I feel like it was a waste to kill that Emery. Let's hope they don't get Mystical Dispute here. Oh, I could have just played this. Oh, wow. Well, good thing I drew another land. Eh, <laughs> eh. All right, so what else did they exile? Ascendancy is bad. Ascendancy is really bad for us. So we need to draw our Ashiok to get rid of it. What's the card I'm looking to name with this, though? We've dealt with all four Karyatids. Paradise Druids are all gone. Is it Retraction Helix? Let me think here. One Retraction Helix, two Retraction Helix. I mean, maybe it's Mox Amber? All right, so what is the... I mean, it's called Ascendancy. We could get rid of Ascendancy. They have Paradise Druid, Paradise Druid. Not really sure what I would name here. I guess... Uh, just name Mox Amber. There's only one of those. They can't cast two. Are we cast Emery? How many Paradise Druids are in the yard? Two? 
We go Emery Lurker of the Lock. Retraction Helix, there's one, two. Oh boy, I don't know. This is kind of tough. I'm not really sure. I think it's Retraction Helix. Okay, pass to them. Paradise Druid, you got it. Witching Well, I guess. I need to get something to block this turn. They're down to 16 cards. Do they have enough to go off? I don't even know if they have enough to go off. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's very good. Exile land, land, uh, Fabled Passage, and Thought Erasure. And sure, another Thought Erasure. Done. And now we can go ahead and just uh, get the pain train going. Let's see what you got. Oh, we're countering that. Immediately getting countered. Alright, I think we are now at the point of the game where we're probably just going to take over. Unless we draw another, like, all land kind of hand. Okay, the Rabble Master is a good draw. That I can handle. I like that. We're now one real land away from being able to also just draw four mana Bolas and flip it. Alright. They die this turn if they don't get something good. Dig through time. That's a good magic card. I've seen that magic card before. I hear it's pretty good. I guess I get to block. That's the good news. Okay. What does the opponent do now? They have eight cards in library. They don't have a retraction helix. Do they have like Thassa's Oracle? I actually didn't really look through their deck with Unmoored Ego, which is to my own undoing. Nice. And we got there. GG's. Look at that. We won the die roll again. I'll keep this. Some interaction here. I'm a-okay with that. Is there a deck that would punish me super hardcore for not going turn one thought sees? Yeah, you know what? I, I don't want to, like, lose too much health here. I know I have Kalidus in hand, but next turn, I have two one-mana plays anyways. Like, if they thought sees me back, that'll obviously be a problem, but let's take a look. What you're playing with? All right, it's blue-white... I guess let's just get rid of Brazen Borrower. So it's blue-white control that we're up against right now. Interesting. So save this for their Teferis. I wonder if this version's playing the Escape Elspeth. Uh, that, that one. <laughs> so Brazen Borrower's not in their hand anymore, so that feels good. They don't get to do some kind of silly value play. Let's see if this gets countered. We don't, know, we don't know about three cards in hand. We only know about two. Seal Away, Supreme Verdict. Alright, so are they going to sweep the board here? Looks like they are. Hopefully we draw like a Planeswalker or something to follow this up with. Uh, into the graveyard you go. Throw a Detention Sphere. So we know about Castle Ardenvale. That's going to be a thing. Luckily we do have Ritual of Soot. That'll give us that one-time sweeper that we need. Oh boy, but we also need to make sure we don't hit all lands here. Oh boy. There's that other Fabled Passage. Know about only one card in their hand currently. Oh, we got another land, baby. All right. Never doubt whether or not my realtor license will come into effect. I got this. I got this. We're fine. We're fine. Lol, imagine being worried about actually drawing spells. <laughs> what a timeline. 2020 Krim is still 2019 Krim, baby. Let's go. I could have cruel ultimatum. <laughs> Ooh, cruel ultimatum while holding up fatal push. Yep, yep, get that token going. Castle Ardenvale is a real win con, so don't let anybody fool you. The opponent is on Azorius aggro. Definitely just Azorius aggro. Featuring some counter spells and board wipes. Four cards in hand? Jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright, they at least let that go through. That was nice. We don't have any many, all that many counter spells game one, so... Kind of at the mercy of whatever they want to do. I mean, no reason to take damage, right? <laughs> All right, Fatal Push again. Any minute now. So earlier, that would have been a crazy swing turn. Like, that would have been a crazy turn on the turn where they go and blow up our Kalidus, and then we immediately follow that up with, like, a five-mana Planeswalker of sorts. That would have been sweet. Um, but I think it's too far removed from that now. They've got five cards. They can just counter whatever I play now. Uh, all right, I'll, pl I'll play one more turn. Game one, we have a very rough matchup. We have just too many board wipes and, like, pointless spells. I mean, I'll keep the board wipes in because I think they play... No, actually, I don't think I need to. 
Brazen Borrower, I can deal with just like a... There you go. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I need another land. Thank you very much, though. Probably could have just... I should have saved this Thought Seize for a turn where I actually wanted to play a spell. Sorius Charm, Supreme Verdict, get rid of the Absorb. The only thing that's... If I find an Ashiok, maybe we're back in it. Like, if I find Creature Bolus, it's not going to do much because they're just going to blow it up with Supreme Verdict. But, drew another card. All right, so that's Azorius Charm gone. Okay. Don't worry, opponent. I know how you feel. I've got that many lands, too. Except you are able to be proactive with that castle. Must be nice. Must be nice. Ooh. Uh. Gotta blow up the board again. So, I just pass, I guess. Hopefully we draw an actual threat sometime soon. Like, a Croxa would be pretty good, too. Because if they board wipe that, who cares, right? Sure. Go ahead, let's just kill this. Alright, what do we draw? Chase. Alright, let's go ahead and just concede. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Negate. Vraska's Contempt. And maybe Noxious Grasp? I do like Ashiok. This keeps them from, uh... Using that fabled passage on me. Push can go out, push can go out, push can go out. Oh, and push can go out. Cast down can go out. Um, Maybe keep one sweeper in for if their tokens run run wild on us. Uh, Maybe go down Kalidus. We don't need a Kalidus here. A lot of removal still, so that's kind of decent, I guess. Two cards need to go out. I mean, okay, maybe Ritual of Sid is just completely pointless here. Do I want Disdainful Stroke? I mean, they could have big... I mean, they will have big Teferi, big Elspeth, things like that. Um, yeah, maybe just take out the other Kalidus. Those aren't great. They're not doing much either. All right, let's try this. I'll keep this. All right, maybe this time we'll actually do a little bit more than just land go. All right, opponent has mulliganed. They've kept. And now we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can get things going this game. We got Jace on board. I mean, if they have Mystical Dispute, they have it. But I'm going to force them every step of the way. Yeah, they have it. Cool. Um, so... Now we've got to just go ahead and use this op, see if we can find something better. Oh man, uh, that's a feel bad. I bought him the Planeswalker because I really do need to find some answers for uh, the probable Teferi. Yeah, like there's probably a Teferi or something like a Planeswalker coming down this turn. Maybe they kept a two-lander? If they bought him on the bottom, okay, so they did draw the land. I think they might have kept a two-lander, so the hand is loaded with action. Oh, come on. Another... <laughs> We've drawn all of our basics, by the way. So Fabled Passage has no targets. It triggers Revolt, if that counts for anything. That's pretty cool. Ah. I feel like with these bombs that we have right now, like Nico Bolas and Ashiok, we could probably wait till we draw a discard spell. Oh, that's not good for us. So they're just gonna go on the... Okay, there we go. Cool. Let's see if they have another counter spell. They do. Darn it. I think it's another Mystical Dispute. Ooh, a Sensor. Very nice. Got got by the Sensor. GG's. That's brutal. I mean, I know they play like two to three of those, but I've got to force it. We drew two counter spells out of their hand, so I feel pretty happy about that. Yep. Narset. What do they reveal? Elspeth, Sun's Champion. Or Sun's Nemesis? Yep, so they do have the version that does what I think it does. Come on, deck. GG's. Yeah, that's brutal. Ugh. I think this one's over. This one's over. Hard for us to come back from that, to be honest. Absorb. Yeah. Okay, it has to be a discard spell on the top of our library or we're dead. Not bad. At least if this gets countered. Um, see how we beat this. We know they have Absorb. Sure. They've got to throw something away. Detention Sphere. So Sun's Champion. That has to get exiled. We're going to go ahead and get them to use that Absorb. Cool, so they use the Absorb. Still running low on cards for them, that's good. We won't be drawing cards for a little while, but whatever. We have no more basics, so hopefully they don't use that Field of Ruin. Elspeth, Sun's Champion, you got it. Maybe they'll gain life. Incorrect, they did not gain life. They saw the line. Come on. No way. No way. Ah, uh, I'll concede to that. GG's. Good games. I'll keep this. Okay, it's not blue-white. That's got to at least be a little bit of comfort. Pass to the opponent here. Oh, no, we are going to... Kroxa is not ideal in this matchup. I know exactly what's going on. 
Yup, there's the Tulpa. Uh-oh. GG's. We're about to be in a lot of a lot of trouble here. Well, at this point, let's just pretend that we're Rakdos. Let's just pretend that we're Rakdos. Oh good! Oh good! Oh good! <laughs> What a gift! What a gift! <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna get- we're gonna take this six. We're gonna take this six, because we deserve this six. Oh, we deserve this six so much. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> we're so dead. Oh my god. Let's see if they have another one. Alright, let's make a discard. That sounds like a good plan. All right, let's kill that. The coolest of beans. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see what else they have. If they kill us, or if they kill this murderous rider, our last line of defense. Uh, we're dead. Oh no. GGs, GGs. We got got. All right, bringing in noxious grasp. Disdainful stroke seems amazing here. Vraska's contempt seems important. Fatal Push almost has, like, zero targets. We do not want them to discard anything. Uh, I guess, like, having some kind of removal is better than none. I feel like maybe I don't need to Thought Seize them too much. Does Ritual of Soot hit anything in this matchup? Probably not. All right, let's try this. It hits the Sylvan Caryatids, which are nice. All right, see if we can get a better game this time. Why can't we just have Damnation? Take a look. What is that? Rankle. All right, let's get rid of their their early mana dork. That card's gonna be a problem. Okay, let's try to see if we can get a. We need to draw the three mana Ashiok pretty quick. All right, now we pass. Let's go ahead and get them to use their spell now. I mean, they technically don't have to do anything right now, right? Like, it's not a concern yet. I'm actually just gonna bin the Nico Bolas. I'd rather have the land. Hmm. Sure, I'll throw that away. Okay. I don't want to throw away Nico Bolas. Oh, boy. They went and binned some cards there. Soul Flayer gone. What did they put in their hand? Put Soul Flayer into their hand so we can go ahead and Disdainful Stroke that. Land of Waste is still in hand. They have Nullhide Ferox. All right, let's draw a land. Do not want to draw Nico Bolas. Come on. Not another... Five mana. Okay, I should I shouldn't have gotten greedy. I wanted Nico Bolas so I could eat their resources. That doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Okay. Okay. So now I have a two three nightmare. Let's see if this helps at all. I'm not entirely sure. I want to save Nico Bolas for like when they play either a a bigger creature or or I don't know. I mean, oh boy. Oh no. Questing Beast. I guess I gotta block. Or I can't even block, actually. Uh, let me see. Kill that off. Play this. I gotta be careful, because if they do have another creature or something, I gotta be able to block it. Like, another way to, like, another Soul Flare. And I could also bounce my own Nico Bolas back to my hand if need be. If I get to untap with Ashiok and get more counters on it, I'll just hold on to a land or something. Because I know about Questing Beast in hand. Let me see here. What do they put away? Uh, reveals. Uh, cast Gather the Pack. Reveals five cards. Puts Questing Beast in their hand with Gather the Pack. Okay. Okay. Cool. I actually drew the land, uh, land out of this. So that's pretty good for us. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I want. Uh, how many soul flares is that? That's two flares. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can start exiling things from them. I mean, I don't know what we can exile from them. That would be good here, though. Like, I need to hit a Zatalpa, I guess. Okay, we have one of those. Alright, let's kill one of these. Alright, begin combat. Let's attack with two of these. Start eating the top of their library. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll take that. All right, let's go ahead and kill that. So that's four. Yep, they block there. They got it. They got it. So next turn, we get to cast Zatulpa, Rankle, and I guess Ronus. 
I mean, I can't really activate Ronus, though. Oh. Well, they only get either a land or Sylvan Karyatid. It's not that big a deal. Nice! And we got the game! Let's go to game three! Holy cow. That was a nail biter. I wonder if Languish is worth it. Languish does do work. What? Well, how much does that card cost? I mean, how much toughness does that card have? Oh, I guess it doesn't show me. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Languish is pretty good in this matchup, I guess, when you think about what they're going to be doing. Plus, you have to take into account uh, Soul Flare stays a 4-4, four, four, I believe. What doesn't this hit? So this hits everything except, uh, except uh, whatchamacallit, thingy-mobobber. They're legendaries? Eh, whatever. Okay, let's try this again. Might need a Thought Seize here pretty early. Yeah, I'll keep this. Got a Thought Seize. Cool, I guess I'll get Thought Seized. I need to find three mana Ashiok pretty quick. I I don't know. I mean, it almost seems like the opponent could just take Murderous Rider because who cares if I thought sees them unless there's some key pieces they are desperately looking to keep. All right, thought sees it is. Oh boy, I'm gonna lead off with that. Let's go ahead and try to go off with an opt here. Yeah, they they, they didn't know about that, but at least that means they won't fire off another discard spell. Maybe. Yep, there's the troll. Now it's gonna be hard to kill it. Spell can't be countered. The next creature card you cast turn has flash. Can't be countered. That creature enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Very good. You may put a creature card or land card from among them into your graveyard. i rip that. I guess that's something, so I may as well take that. Okay. Pitch the Zatalpa. That's fine. So we know that's not in their hand anymore. But the question is, what do they have in hand now? Okay, Urborg. That's not ideal for us. So I have an opt. That's why I'm doing this. I gotta get this troll out of here as soon as possible. And if they swing with um, Rankle, that's not the end of the world. They have to sack a creature. If they sack itself, that's cool. And they're tapped out if they do that. Oh boy. All right, there goes Rankle. I guess we're gonna get hit with four here. I mean, do they have to do much at this point? Probably not, right? Oh, that's so gross. Oh, that's so gross. Okay. It has to be Languish? Well, let me think here. Flying Indestructible, yeah. That won't do, that won't do. Bottom of the library. Oh, Jesus. Um, no, I've, I'm just gonna take this. Haste, Trample, Vigilance, Double Strike, Flying. That's 12, I'm down to one. Whatever, they got it. GG's. If they have it, they have it. I'm dead either way. No point in blocking, right? It tramples, so. Oh, wow. Does that help, actually? Eh, well, you know. Unfortunate that that has regenerate, but hey, we at least live this long, right? Wait, does minus minus not work? I thought I think they could have regenerated, right? Or am I going crazy? Please don't have a, a null hide ferox. Please don't have a null hide ferox. All right, so we have something for questing beast. I'm at a comfortable one, just where I like to be. No, no, no. Murderous Rider, right? Murderous Rider? Okay, cool. It's at 7, so if I minus 3, I can do it again. We're gonna dig for an opt here. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We just gotta survive a turn here. If we can just wait for them to not rip a Questing Beast, or a Rankle, something like that, we're okay. Alright. What did they rip there? Alright, good. They went for the Lotlith Troll, I think. Yeah, put Lotlith Troll into hand. Not bad. Not bad. Three, six. Um. Oh god, can I take two from this? Collective Brutality would kill me if they draw it. A lot of things kill me here. Back down to one I go. Oh, this is such scary territory to be in. Oh, Ooh, they put a Questing Beast in the hand. All right, let's go. What do we know about? The only thing in hand that we know about is Questing Beast. Everything else is gone. So I'm at three now. All right, we're back down to one. What's in exile? Is the Tulpa? Does that have lifelink? Flying indestructible? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go to attacks here. All right, so we're gonna go Zatulpa, cast. Okay, now we pass back to them. We should be good now. Woo! So close. We'll keep it. Let's try it. All right, so we're gonna 
We don't have any red sources, but hey, we have the mana that we need to go in uh, Vrin's Prodigy. Jason Derulo. All right, let's see what we've got here, opponent. What you got for me? Yeah. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and just play a swamp and pass. We could be mono black aggro. I don't think we've played a single aggro deck on Pioneer Peak. Have we played it? No, I don't think we have actually. Well, today could be the first time, even though for the, by this point now, everyone's seen the deck, so they, you all know I'm not aggro. I'm kind of aggro, I guess. Oh no, <laughs> mama no, not this. This card is, this card is dead. I actually, no, I get to kill a Vizier. Haha, -ha. this kills Emrakul. Let's see here. Yep, just kills Emrakul. Uh, does that resolve? Hmm. If it does, we'll be in a good spot. All right, we'll go ahead and pass. There you go. I mean, it's resolved. Opponent's turn. Okay. Just got to draw some magical cards here. That's all. Easy. Uh, let's think about what I need next game. <laughs> I'm already thinking about the next game because let's be honest. I don't want to suck the air out of the room or anything, but... Have you ever tried to just beat a Lotus Field deck with a fair... Like, we don't even have a clock. We have a 0-2. But at the end of the day, at least we know. This is what I mean. Whenever... If you ever go to a big tournament and you're like, hey, like a GP, a Magic Fest or whatever, and you, you go 0-2 off the event, just remember, there are tons of good cards that, Owen, that have 0-2 in their stat line. You see? Jace is an 0-2. Probably some other cards. 0-3, you know, you got Sylvan Karyatid, so... Never be too harsh on yourself, world. Uh, Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to draw some magical cards here. Uh, Maybe I could pitch a Fatal Push. When I say maybe, I mean I am. I don't see many situations where I need to hold up mana for this uh, Murderous Rider, but I will. Because I'm thinking about it now, it's like, well, what do they have? Oh, Joy, I could actually throw one of those away. Alright, pass to the opponent. You got it, your turn. We're gonna F6 our way through this. Maybe they sacrifice uh, two big ones. I don't know, actually, there's... Ugh, that's gross. Oh boy, I think I've seen this one before. Huh. The worst part is I cannot blow any of those up. Well, huh. Let's see what we draw. Ah, no point in hiding it. Let's go! No point in hiding it, let's go. Let's start swinging and swanging. And here it comes, the part where we die. Which version are they killing us with, though? That's why I'm playing this out. I want to see if they're the version that plays like Ral, all like, you know, the infinite combos, like uh, double cast and whatnot. Uh-huh. Oh, is that six mana? Didn't even notice, actually. Two Lotus Fields? That card's unplayable, right? It requires you to sacrifice two lands. Oh, nice. All right. Chronic Flooding. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, not Thassa's Oracle. Not like this. No. <laughs> Yup! Yup, 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 yup. Huh. Very strong. Very strong line here. Okay! Um... Yes? Yes. So what is the way you beat them here? I think it's... I think the first thing is you name Thassa's Oracle? I mean, okay, well you name Lotus Field if they haven't played one, right? With Unmoored Ego? But... Upon... Uh, let's just assume that Thassa's... Or I mean, the Lotus Field is already, like, on the board. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're, it's a close one. Remember remember that time when we just tried to play a 0-2 and a 4-4 and win the game? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Underworld Breach. I haven't seen a Thassa's Oracle, so I'm not going to name that. So far, it looks like Expansion Explosion. Yup, 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 yup. Just trying to absorb in the, the information that's being given to me right now. Uh... I don't really know what else I could do here. We see Expansion Explosion as one of their win cons. So it's really Lotus Field that I need to get rid of. Do they have Fae of Wishes? I haven't been paying attention entirely, but... Uh-huh. All right. Taking a gander through how we could lose this. No Fae of Wishes has been casted yet. Thassa's Oracle's right there on board. So we see one. Show me the Fae of Wishes. That's what I want to see. I want to see if they play Fae of Wishes. That's all. It looks like they don't have any. Their devotion's at least two, so no matter what, they've got something to do. Uh-huh. No Fae of Wishes. All right. I guess let's just go ahead and concede here. Seems pretty pretty straightforward. Yup, yup, yup. They're gonna mill themselves. 
No Fey of Wishes whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and concede here. All right, um, take that, all of that. Do we want both of these? Probably. All right, what, what are they bored into? Probably cards like Thought Distortion and whatnot. Uh, maybe Kalidus is like kind of playable. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? What else do we need? Bounces the enchantments back. Sure. Crocs is pretty cool here. Dreadbore, I guess we could go down one. I mean, Culligan's Command, I just want to attack their hand, but maybe that's not enough. Maybe Jace can actually go down one. And then bring in Vraska's Contempt, because that can deal with uh, Ugin's, things like that. All right, game plan is to get Lotus Field out of their, out of their hand and out of their deck. Of course, there are still ways we lose this, but, you know, yes, I would like to play first. Oh, boy. You know what? I'll keep it. There's an Opt. Let's lead off with Opt here. Maybe f dig in towards, like, a... Some kind of a uh, hand disruption spell, something along those lines. I mean, I want to find Unmored Ego as soon as possible. Yep, they're already ramping. Okay. Oh, this is going to be gross. So even if we hit Unmored Ego right now, is that enough? Put on the bottom. All right, let's put the steam vents to the bottom. We do need to find something to do. All right, we'll go ahead and pass. No Lotus Field? Oh, no. It looks like they got it. Uh, uh. Yeah, I mean, sure, you got it. Do your thing. Realistically, I should... I don't know if it's ever worth it to s try to stop these, like, these spells. I don't know if it does anything. Like, I'm pretty sure they had it the entire time, which is the problem. All right, so that's three mana. Some good old interactive fun magic here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> They're gonna go off, and we're gonna die. What else are they gonna play here? Vizier of the Sands? I can't stop that. So they net one mana here. Uh, all right. What else you got for me, opponent? They just added triple green. I think I need to counter that. Because then they're going to just find another one. Like, either a thespian stage or something along those lines. And that's bad times for us. Yup. All right, get in there with the 0-3 opponent. Oh, darn it. If this resolves, like, miraculously resolves, not... I mean, uh, I don't think they even care enough, actually. Why would they counter this? If they had it, they wouldn't counter this. Let's see what I can find here. Interesting. Do I have the luxury of just sitting back? I don't think I do. Huh. What could they be holding, right? Hidden strings, something along those lines. Now, let's just go ahead and pass. It's too risky. Although, getting this Ashiok to go sooner than later is probably better for us. I need to find a three mana, the three mana Ashiok to shut off the at least Sylvan Scryings and things like that. But I can't stop anything with this Disdainful Stroke outside of... um uh pour over the pages and this upcoming turn could potentially be thought distortion Ugh, gross hmm yep they're gonna mill themselves do they have dig through time i don't think so i don't think they oddly enough i don't think they need it yeah maybe i gotta just bounce this back there goes jace so they're looking to like if they can get underworld breach on board that's pretty good for them oh yeah they definitely got some action then uh can i find like thought seize or something like that not bad i'll take that to its owner's hand, each player puts the top two cards of the library. Cypher. All right. Wins a rebuke. Let's go ahead and get that out of here. Hidden Strings, obviously very good. But we can take that next turn. Lotus Field, Thespian Stage, Milled. I wonder if there's... How do I kill them, though, right? I gotta do a lot here. Are they looking for something? Snap countering that. So they've got nothing to do for this upcoming turn. Okay, send the Chronic Flooding back to their hand. So what are they going to exile? A Boreal Grazer, so now we Thought Seize them. We have a way out of this now. I hope. I just hope they hit a land or something like that. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. Yup, yup, they have a lot of mana. No one is uh, doubting that. You've got mana. Some good old fair magic. Two... Two, two, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get Thought Erasure going. Uh, sure. Let's put that one last. Or, I think we did it right. That one goes last. Sure, they discarded that one. They don't have Hidden Strings, thankfully. I can't cast that, but I can pass now. Having a 6-6 six, six will help, but we do need to find something real soon before they actually draw a draw spell. Okay, cool. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So four, three. Let's go with black source, red source, red source, black source. One, two, three, 
four. What cards have entered exile there? Chronic Flooding, Swan Song. Uh, gotta hope that they whiff again. Oh no, they have something to do. Nice, and we got there. Holy cow. Woo! Easy, right? <laughs> nice and easy. So simple. Jeez, Luis, let's not make that an everyday thing. Chase wasn't bad. What is better here? Okay, they're on the play this time. That's never good. At least we got a, to a game three, right? That's all I can ask for. That we went to game three. I'm pretty happy about that. I'll keep this just solely on the fact that we have three mana Ashiok. Opt. We saw that they had Mystical Dispute, so we got to play around cards like that. All right. No Sylvan Sadness. No Sylvan Sadness. No nothing. Just pass the turn because you're a nice friend. Oh, man. Sylvan Sadness. All right. Lesbian stage. Oh, okay. Well, we know what they have already. Oh boy, what do they have? What, what can they play this turn? Oh boy, I think I'm gonna wait on Croxa. Wait till they get a little bit lower on cards. Take that, gladly. All right, let's see if we could kind of stop them for a little bit. I mean, they're gonna have double the mana that they need, which is going to be a problem, but it's something. I mean, if this is a counter spell like Mystical Dispute, all right, let's see if this... Ooh, they have all lands. Good, 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 good. Pour over the pages, Chronic Flooding. All right, that's what's in Exile. Next turn, we got Big Bolus. Nikki B coming down next turn is going to be pretty huge. If we just, like, of course, live that long. Botanical Sanctum down. All right, please don't have another counter spell. Please don't have a counter spell. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Please don't have a counter spell. Please don't have a counter spell. Please don't have a counter spell. Nice. So we're going to just make him exile some permanents. What is Entered Exile for the opponent? Is that Mana Confluence? Oh boy. Come on. So Forest is Entered Exile. Okay. Boss's Oracle is gone. Very nice. All right, this feels moderately okay. So there's the Mana Confluence. Red. Black. Go ahead and go Croxa here. Doesn't matter. Whichever one. It's cool with me. Let's draw another card. Continue to attack the opponent's hand here, so they're running out of cards to play with. Underworld Breach has gone into exile. Very good. Last card gone. So they're out of cards now. That feels really good. Uh, one more land, and we flip this, and then we get to go wild. Perfect. One more land. Didn't draw it, but it's okay. Almost there. Double Rabble Rabbles. Rabble Rabble Rabble. All right, Nikki B, get in there. On their draw step, we're going to actually go ahead and make them uh, discard whatever it is they draw and deal them two. Okay, your turn. All right, target player discards a card. Um, Yeah, target player discards a card. Let me see here, two. You know what, just make them discard. Red. Cool, they discard another Lotus Field. They're locked out again. Feels pretty good. Draw another card here. I think it's safe to say this one's locked away. All right, get in there. All right, last turn for them. We have a negate, so it feels really good. We could have also played Croxa and killed them a turn sooner. Either way, GG's, I'll keep it. We've got some real estate, I like it. We have Jace Vrin's Prodigy. Got some Jason Derulo action, so, ooh. All right, so it's mono black aggro. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, how important is this blood soaked champion? How good is no? You know what? Thought season isn't even good against them. So we're just gonna go ahead and pass. All right, let's go ahead and just blow it up now before they go to combat. And then let's go ahead and play Jason Derulo as promised. Go ahead and pass to the opponent. They have a fatal push themselves. Brutal. Next turn, we'll just go Thought Seize, see if we need a shock or not. If we do, we're going to shock in Blood Crypt. It's okay, I'll take two because I like getting hit. It's fun. It's a pro It's a pastime of mine. All right, let's see what we've got here. Well, would you look at that? Interesting. So they have land and then two Murderous Riders. I mean, if I'm going to take two anyways, 
may as well get some value off of it, right? Make it so that they... Well, it's not really value, but it makes it so that they skip their turn. Alright, let's see if the opponent has something to say about this. So they can choose to... Let me keep Jace. Which, if they do, that's cool. Right? We have something we can do. Oh, no! They drew a Rankle. Maybe they'll uh, make us both sacrifice a creature. I don't know. Sure. Yes! We'll both sacrifice? Oh, that was the most fair. Alright, well here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fetch this. We have another red source anyways, so let's go ahead and loot. Looter McScooter. Kill that with the Fatal Push. And then now we gotta just hold back, I guess? So they played the Swamp. Uh, they still know the two cards in their hand. It's Murderous Rider times two. Ah, uh, darn it. They're going in for it. And that means they get to go ahead and play that wonderful magic card. A double Mutavolt turn. That's brutal. That returns it to the battlefield. Gross. Alright, let's go ahead and send this here. This way, if they're trying to use their Mutavolts, they won't have enough mana to go ahead and swing in and kill my, uh... So even if they go, like, Murderous Rider, they have to go... Let me think here. They remove it, right, for three mana. Three mana. Uh, they have two mana open. They could send in four damage to Ashiok, so they're more likely to just wait. Yep, there you go. You got it. Gutter Bones, you got it. Ooh. Huh. That's still six damage coming in this time, so yeah, I gotta got actually begin combat here. We gotta sweep the board this turn. Ugh, gross. So they still have one of those in the yard, or in hand. So we need to find, well, we don't have Cry the Carnarium, which is the problem. How do we kill these darn Mutavolts? Mutavolts so good. In this style of deck, at least. It's perfect in these style of decks. Because now I'm down to five. I need to find one of these Murderous Riders myself before it's too late. Yup. It might be worth it to bring in the three mana Ashiok here, believe it or not. Ooh, an island. That's not good. Does not feel great. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, doesn't feel great. I wish I had a Coligan's Command or something like that, but I do not. At least if I had a Croxa, I think I could have played it. Yeah, I could have three, four. No, 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 I couldn't have. I need one more red source for that. All right. Yep, 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 yep. So if they draw, if they drew a land here, they can get back everything again. Ooh, another Mutavolt. That's so good. That's so good. All right, GG's. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so this is going to be good. Languish is pretty good. We might actually be able to out-aggro the opponent, believe it or not. We're going to take out all the Thought Seizes. Those are terrible in this matchup. Let's see. Is Croxa good here? I mean, Croxa's is all right. Go down and opt if we need to. We only want one Ashiok. Ashiok still doesn't actually do that much. Uh, yeah. I'll take the play. Ooh, I need a mulligan. Well, you know. I'll keep it. I'll keep the languish in the event that, uh, I get my hand ripped apart. Okay. Uh, let me think. What else can we do, really? Opponent's mulliganing to five. It's not that bad for them, actually. We both mulligan to six. They're tanking on this five pretty hard. It must be, like, loaded with, like, Thought Seizes or something like that. And the reason why I brought in Rabble Master, even though we have a sideboard, or, I mean, we brought in Sweepers, is because sometimes you can just out-aggro the opponent, like, this deck, because they'll spend all their time thinking, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? I I'm not gonna shock for that. No need to. Not when, uh, they're gonna be pinging me all day long. Perfect. I wanted to opt first because I didn't want to, like, Shock if there is a shock land, so this saved me some life. In case I drew a shock land, that is. Because we are loaded to the brim with them. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and out-aggro them. We'll try to, at least. Alright, their turn. I mean, if they use removal on this, that's great. Then we could sweep the board freely. I'm not blocking, obviously, so I'm gonna F6 through this. No blocks. It is up to them what they want to do now. And now, like, we're gonna start punching in and... Sure, they can take a Languish. It's fine. That's not that big a deal. And now we get to play Nico Bolas. Nico Bolas will hit their hand. We're, we're not going to use the Languish anyways. Alright, let's go ahead and hit their hand. Alright, let's go. So they're taking six now. And they're going to have to figure out what they want to do. Like, they're going to have to remove this Nico Bolas. If they do, that's A-OK -okay with me. Sure. The Rabble Master has been removed. For obvious reasons. All right, so they're down to five. So if they play... Ooh. Eh, that's fine. 
We'll just let him hit us. I mean, he's not blocking anyways, but yeah. We're down to one. Oh, we got him. All right, uh, discards a card, deals damage to any target. This and this. Aha, we're the aggro deck now. Feels good, feels good. We're the aggro deck. Not today, you won't. All right, huh. This will now make him respect how much aggro we have, right? I think that's pretty good on its own. Still don't want, I mean, maybe an opt actually in this matchup, we can bring that in and drop like a five mana bomb. But the good thing about that was that we were able to get the jump on them, seeing as that we were on the play. Might've been entirely different if, uh, let me think here, they would've gone, yeah, no. Went about as well as I wanted it to. All right, Grixis aggro, let's go. We have a sweeper, but we don't, we have a cheap removal-ish early and a, yeah, I, I'll try this. Hopefully we actually get to draw lands and keep our cards. That's the hardest part. Oh, no, no. No cards for me. They kept seven. I kept seven. I guess if that Nico Bolas, the five mana one, were an opt. Oh boy. Maybe they'll take the Croxa. Seems unlikely. I think it's like Dreadbore. The earliest form of interaction. Probably won't even get to the later spells. Yeah. Because then you think about it, they could just deal with all that other stuff later. Ooh, Scrap Heap Scrounger. That's a good one. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm just going to play it. All right, so they're down to 15. Duress, so they're probably going to take my Sweeper now. I can't cast Opt anyways. Or me? Yeah, like, they can't take Nik uh, the Ravager, so that's fine. I need to draw an Island. Yep. Ooh, double Scrap Heap. Seems pretty good here. So they have one card left in hand. I don't think I can afford to, uh... Like, I, the reason why I don't want to, like... I could have held that back, but my concern is that if I hold back the card... They'll just say, okay, cool, whatever. I'm, like, I could potentially get the Nico Bolas rip from my hand. Now they are quite the aggressor this game. Probably hell onto a land. That's probably Murderous Rider in hand. They somehow always have that card. Yep. <laughs> they always have that card. <laughs> oh, boy. This has, I have the top has to be like Kalidus. No, not even. Yeah, Kalidus doesn't save me. There's nothing that saves me. Oh, I guess that helps. Murderous Rider, play that. That's not bad. Let's find out if they have something else. It's always the one removal spell. Perfect sevens only. Yeah. I guess I have to do this, huh? Like, as much as I would love to block there, I have to push there, take the two, go back down to one. Okay, so now it has to be Kalidus. That's the only way I can get out of this. What is the card in their hand? No, that doesn't save me. Well, let's see what we would have drawn. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, we do have something. I can't believe I just totally forgot I had this in the graveyard. <laughs> Another Scrap Heap Scrounger, jeez. That's so good. Not a removal spell from the opponent. Not a removal spell from the opponent. For some odd reason, they want to attack with Muta Vault because they're really nice. And want to trigger Revolt, maybe? I mean, realistically, all they need to do is just pass, right? Pass, bring back a Scrap Heap, and then just swing next turn with Muta Vault. With Ace and a single Scrap Heap. I would have to draw a removal spell. Can't re believe I almost forgot the casual Titan of Death's Hunger or whatever. Just sitting in my graveyard. It's like, hey, don't mind me. I'm just sitting over here being a 6-6. Six -six. Remember me, bud. That's why you play me. I guess, like, my question is, what are they waiting for? Right? Like, it could be uh, a Rankle in hand. But if it's a Rankle, they would have just... Like, they would need a land. Okay, Gutter Bones this turn. That's already a problem. So I need a Sweeper. Or an Answer. Yeah, that was an Ashiok. And Ashiok wouldn't have- I think it had to have been another Murderous Rider. Ritual of Soot does nothing. It blows up my own Titan. Dreadbore does nothing. Dang it. That's what I needed. GG's. GG's. I needed a Vraska's Contempt. That would have been nice. The two life gain would have been huge. Doesn't matter. They could just exile something in their hand. Doesn't matter. They could exile that Gutter Bones if they wanted. Uh, close. It was close. Unfortunately that we never got there. Unfortunately, we were so close. If that Vrasis Contempt had come one turn sooner, that would have been pretty good. Or like the turn before, I guess. Like this turn before I drew, uh, I think I drew Dreadbore this turn. Eh, may as well get my, my, my value for the content. Let's get in there for nine. So they did have a Rankle, at least. And then we die. GG's. GG's. You know what? We'll see it to the end, Croxa. I'll ride. I'll ride to the end. Three and two. Not bad. Not bad. We were close. You know, they just got, they, they were able to do their, their thing, their mono black aggro game plan. Maybe, they're still an out, maybe they swing into my planeswalker, unlikely. GG's.
It was close. It was close. Well, we ended the league at 3-2, and two, but you know what? I can't complain. The deck did a lot of the things that I really like doing. Maybe Kroxa, there's, Kroxa, there's a lot more to it than, uh, you know, than we think. Uh, it seems like it's got the power level to be in Pioneer. Uh, maybe just with a more refined list. Uh, and maybe we try a version that's a little less controlling and a little more mid-rangey, I guess? This way we could also add, like, Lazav in there, and Lazav turns into, like, Goblin Rabble Master? Who knows? Maybe Lazav is the truth in this format. We'll have to try that in an updated episode. But for right now, I do really enjoy the deck. Uh, it does, as I had mentioned, a lot what I like to do. Ashiok was big there in helping us deal with some problematic enchantments, like against that Lotus Field deck. We're able to bounce that mill enchantment that t attaches itself to a land. Uh, and as I said earlier, you could uh, also use that minus three to bounce something else of your own back to your hand. Uh, like maybe like you go Nico Bolas, you kill something, you bounce the Bolas back if need be, just so you don't want it to die. Who knows? You hold back a land, or maybe you want to get another activate or another uh, ETB off Nico Bolas the Ravager. Who knows? Obviously, it's not ideal, but it can be done. And the two threes were nice. We won some games on the like at one. Thankfully, thanks to those nightmares, as we were able to ult and get a nice Zatulpa. So, the deck was a blast. Uh, I can't wait to tune this up. I'm probably going to build something like this in paper, so time for me to go pick up those Croxes before they spike. And other than that, thank you so much for watching another episode of Pioneer Peak. I do really appreciate you all coming back, watching my content here, and watching all the content and supporting all the things coming out on mtggoldfish.com. And as always, if you like what we create here, feel free to leave a like and a sub and button mash that bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. Other than that, it's your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out. I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.